Okay, we're kicking off the program with our first segment. Jay Henderson is the Vice President of Product Management at Alteryx, and we're going to talk about the trends in data, where we came from, how we got here, where we're going. We got some launch news. Hello, Jay. Welcome to theCUBE. Great to be here. Really excited to share some of the things we're working on. Yeah, thank you. So look, you have a deep product background, product management, product marketing. You've done strategy work. You've been around software and data your entire career. And we're seeing the collision of software, data, cloud, machine intelligence. Let's start with the customer and maybe we can work back from there. So if you're an analytics or a data executive at an organization, Jay, what's your North Star? Where are you trying to take your company from a data and analytics point of view? Yeah, I mean, you know, look, I think all organizations are really struggling to get insights out of their data. I think one of the things that we see is you've got digital exhaust creating large volumes of data. Storage is really cheap, so it doesn't cost them much to keep it. And that results in a situation where the organization's, you know, drowning in data, but somehow still starving for insights. And so I think, uh, you know, when I talk to customers, they're really excited to figure out how they can put analytics in the hands of every single person in their organization and really start to democratize the analytics um, and you know, let the, the business users and the whole organization get value out of all of that data they have. Yeah, we're going to dig into that throughout this programming. <laughs> data, I like to say, is plentiful. Insights, not always so much. Tell us about your launch today, Jay, and thinking about the, the trends that you just highlighted, the direction that your customers want to go and the problems that you're solving. What role does the cloud play and, and what is what you're launching? How does that fit in? Yeah, we're, we're really excited today. We're launching the Alteryx Analytics Cloud. That's really a portfolio of cloud-based solutions that have all been built from the ground up to be cloud native um, and to take advantage of things like browser-based access so that it's really easy to give anyone access, including folks on a Mac, um, it, you know, it also lets you take advantage of elastic compute so that you can do you know, in database processing and cloud native um, solutions that are, are going to scale to solve the most complex problems. So we've got a portfolio of uh, solutions, things like designer cloud, which is our flagship designer product in a browser and on the cloud. Uh, we've got Alteryx machine learning, which helps upskill regular old analysts with advanced machine learning capabilities. We've got Auto Insights, which brings uh, business users into the fold and automatically unearths insights using AI and machine learning. And we've got our latest addition, which is Trifacta. That helps data engineers do data pipelining and really um, you know, create a lot of the underlying data sets that are used in some of this uh, downstream analytics. So let's dig into some of those roles, if we could, a little bit. I mean, you've traditionally, Alteryx has served the, the business analysts, and that's what Designer Cloud is fit for, I believe. And you've explained you know, kind of the scope, you, sorry, you've expanded that scope into the, to the business user with Hyperana. And we're, in a moment, we're going to talk to Adam Wilson and Suresh uh, about Trifacta, and that recent acquisition takes you, as you said, into the data engineering space and IT. But in thinking about the business analyst role, what's unique about designer cloud, cl cloud and how does it help these individuals? Yeah, I mean, you know, really I go back to some of the feedback we've had from our customers, which is, um, you know, they oftentimes have dozens or hundreds of seats of our designer desktop product. You know, really as they look to take the next step, they're trying to figure out how do I give access to that, that, those types of analytics to thousands of people within the organization? And Designer Cloud is, is really great for that. You've got the browser-based interface. So if folks are on a Mac, they can really easily just you know, pop open the browser and get access to all of those uh, prep and blend capabilities to a lot of the analysis we're doing. Um, it's a great way to scale up access to the analytics and and start to put it in the hands of really anyone in the organization, not just those highly skilled power users. Okay, great. So now then you add in the Hyperana acquisition. So now you're targeting the business user. Trifacta comes into the mix, uh, that deeper IT angle that we talked about. How does this all fit together? How should we be thinking about the new Alteryx portfolio? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, when you think about democratizing analytics and providing access to all these different groups of people, um, you've not been able to do it through one platform before. 
Um, you know, it's not going to be one interface that meets the needs of all these different groups within the organization. You really do need purpose built specialized capabilities for each group. And finally, today, with the announcement of the Alteryx Analytics Cloud, we've brought together all of those different capabilities, all of those different interfaces into a single end to end application. So really finally delivering on the promise of providing analytics to all. How much of this have you been able to share with your customers and maybe your, your partners? I mean, I know a lot of this is fairly new, but have you been able to get any feedback from them? What are they saying about it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, we ran a early access and limited availability program that let us put a lot of this technology in the hands of over 600 customers oh, wow. um, over the last few months. So we have gotten a lot of feedback. I tell you, um, it's been overwhelmingly positive. I think organizations are really excited to unlock the insights that have been hidden in all this data they've got. They're excited to be able to use analytics in every decision that they're making so that the decisions they have are more informed and produce better business outcomes. Um, and, and this idea that they're going to move from, you know, dozens to hundreds or thousands of people who have access to these kinds of capabilities, I think has been a really exciting thing that is going to accelerate the transformation that these customers are on. That's good. Those are good, good, good numbers for, for preview mode. Let's, let's talk a little bit about vision. So if democratizing data is the ultimate goal, which frankly has been elusive for most organizations, over time, how's your cloud going to address the challenges of putting data to work across the entire enterprise? Yeah, I mean, I, I tend to think about the future and some of the investments we're making in our products and our roadmap across four big themes. You know, and, the, and these are really kind of enduring themes that you're going to see us making investments in over the next few years. Um, the first is having cloud centricity. You know, the data gravity has been moving to the cloud. We need to be able to provide access, um, to be able to ingest and manipulate that data, to be able to write back to it, to provide cloud solutions. So the first one is really around cloud centricity. The second is around big data fluency. Once you have all of the that data, you need to be able to manipulate it in a performant manner. So having the elastic cloud infrastructure and in database processing is so important. The third is around making AI a strategic advantage. So, uh, you know, getting everyone involved in accessing AI and machine learning to unlock those insights, getting it out of the hands of the small group of data scientists, putting it in the hands of analysts and business users. Um, and then the, the fourth thing is really providing access across the entire organization, you know, IT and data engineers, uh, as well as business uh, owners and, and analysts. So um, cloud centricity, big data fluency, um, AI is a strategic advantage and uh, personas across the organization are really the, the four big themes you're going to see us uh, working on over the next few months and uh, coming coming years. That's good, thank you for that. So, so on a related question, how do you see the, the data organizations evolving? I mean, traditionally you've had you know, monolithic organizations, uh, very specialized, or I might even say hyper-specialized roles and, and your, your mission, of course, is the, the customer, you, you, you and your customers, they want to democratize the data. And so it seems logical that domain leaders are going to take more responsibility for data life cycles, data ownerships, low code becomes more important. And perhaps this kind of challenges the historically highly centralized and, and really specialized roles that I just talked about. How do you see that evolving and, and, and what role will Alteryx play? Yeah, um, you know, I think we'll see sort of a more federated system start to emerge. Those centralized groups are going to continue to exist, um, but they're going to start to empower, you know, in a in a much more decentralized way, the people who are closer to the business problems and have better business understanding. I think that's going to let the centralized, highly skilled teams work on uh, problems that are of higher value to the organization the kinds of problems where one or 2% lift in the model result in millions of dollars a day for the business. And then by pushing some of the analytics out to uh, closer to the edge and closer to the business, you'll be able to you know, apply those analytics in every single decision. So I think you're going to see you know, both the decentralized and centralized models start to work in, in harmony in a little bit more of a, 
almost a federated sort of uh, way. And I think, you know, the exciting thing for us at Altrix is, you know, we want to facilitate that. We want to give analytic capabilities and solutions to both groups and types of people. We want to help them collaborate better um, and drive business outcomes with the analytics they're using. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I, what my take on it, I wonder if you could comment is, to me, the technology should be an operational detail and it has been the, the, the dog that wags the tail or maybe the other way around. You mentioned digital exhaust before. I mean, essentially it's digital exhaust coming out of operational systems that then it, it somehow eventually end up in the hand of the domain users. And, and I wonder if increasingly we're going to see those domain users, those, those line of business experts get more access, that's your goal. And then even go beyond analytics, start to build data products that could be monetized. And that maybe it's going to take a decade to play out, but that is sort of a new era of data. Do you, do you see it that way? A absolutely. We're actually making big investments in our products and capabilities to be able to create analytic applications and to enable somebody who's an analyst or business user to create an application on top of the data and analytics layers that they have um, really to help um, democratize the analytics, to help prepackage some of the analytics that can drive more insights. So I think that's definitely a trend we're going to see more of. Yeah, and to your point, if you can federate the governance and automate that, yep. then that can Absolutely. happen. I mean, that's a key part of it, obviously. So, yep. all right, Jay, we have to leave it there. Up next, we take a deep dive into the Altrix recent acquisition of Trifactor with Adam Wilson, who led Trifactor for more than seven years and Suresh Vital is the Chief Product Officer at Alteryx to explain the rationale behind the acquisition and how it's going to impact customers. Keep it right there. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise tech coverage.